what's up guys today we are back with another video sorry that it took so long for this video to happen but I mean on the bright side at least we're making a video now so I'll catch you right when we warm up and we start wheeling our bikes alright we're gonna start wheeling now and yeah get right into it let's go back He's currently not here, but next time he's probably going to be in the video. So. Um, let's do, let's teach the viewers that don't know what a wheelie is a wheelie. Alright, okay. So we'll go through step by step. Alright, so we're gonna teach my boy one way, Jamie. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna teach him how to wheelie. I mean, he can get up the bike and all, but he can't keep going. Yeah. Should I start and should I use my bike or anything? Um, I don't care, but right, say what your that. problem is. Um, my problem is right now, I'm pressing... I'm pressing the brake like too hard and um pressing the brake too hard and I'm when I get to my balance point like, I keep backing out. So right now I'm gonna try and like commit to the wheelie and try and lather the brake a little bit. YouTube, um I just wanted to remind you guys that we us three we all started on Walmart bikes that were like that we had for months and months, few years I had mine. That's how I learned to wheelie. That's how I know. Yeah, and some of them we got out the garbage too. Yeah, some of them we got out the garbage. I'm I'm just drinking the gogo juice. Yeah. Um, he really needs that gogo juice. He can't really wheelie in the cold right now. But no, I can't. I can't. But I'm drinking cold stuff. So. Yeah. So um, it doesn't matter what what Walmart bike you have. It doesn't matter what bike in general you have. As long as you have brakes that can stop you, you can wheel it. Or at least you should be able to wheel it. So right now they're gonna teach me how to how to um, lather the the brake and commit to the wheelie, so let's get right into it. You wanna follow this motion. So you wanna lean forward? 
Get your pedal off the 12, pull back, push on your pedal, and you should yeah, get the pedal. Get just, the pedal. If your bike is like, look, you see? You see? No, how, if you, you get see how the yeah. pedal, the pedal is, is almost more than 12 o'clock. So it's around 1 o'clock. I, I like my pedal when I'm wheeling. I like it around here. But some people like it like this, and then some people like it like this. It's all about your preference. I like a, around here, one o'clock. So when I'm, but when I'm popping up the bike, I want to use my chest. I want my chest on, basically right on the handlebars, a bit up over the handlebars, with just like this. And I'm gonna pull up with my arms, keep my arms straight, lather that brake. Yeah, guys. So once you pull up the bike. If your bike's too big, you can use a curb, like your driveway, or you can get a stick that's sizable, like this thick, and then you could use that. Or if your bike's just fine. Oh, and by the way, since I was zoomed in, it's like this thick. All right, so guys, then um, your bike. And if you wanna, if you wanna see how the how the wheel really with the curve, the curve, I I will recommend it for people who are learning how to pop up the bike. And get hang and get the hang of it, but not really when you're when you're really like pretty far. You want to learn how to pop it up on flat because with that it's hard to because your back tire also hits the bump and then it kind of puts you down. So it's kind of hard with the bump. I me personally, I think it's fine. I learned how to wheelie on flat, straight flat. I didn't use a bump or anything, but you learned how to pop up the bike. Yeah, I learned how to pop up the bike with the ball. But like us, we learned how to pop it up on the curb or with the stick. Like with our SE bike, like we were really like 20 inch Walmart bike. We were popping them up, but we had no brake. So like this is, just kept moving. Like and then when we got our SE bike, we couldn't pop it up at all. Yeah. So we had to use curb. Uh -huh. But if, you're, if you want to wheelie, get gears. Mm -hmm. If you have gear on your bike, it's so much better. Yeah. So, so much like, easier. Like, gear so much easier. Like, put them to a low gear, you pedal fast, and it's it like, it's like you pick up the bike, it picks up the bike for you. Yeah. And this is what it, I'm going to show you what it looks like to wheelie with the bumper. Real quick. And guys, by the way, that's an upgraded tire, so if you get this bike fast, it, it won't come with that tire. There's a massive, it helps with your right. swerve and your wheels. See, it's kind of hard. See how it like, see how it like, interferes? Okay, now I'm actually going to try like, <laughs> And guys, it does, guys, it does take practice, so if you're getting frustrated at yourself for not getting this, it does take practice. It takes a lot of practice. Like, at first, I couldn't even pick it up with the curb. Like, but, I, used, I used to yeah. get frustrated, like, real, like, I used to hate it. 
Oh, and another tip, raise your seat. When you start to pick up your bike, raise your seat. It's, that's a good thing. They don't have it raised, I don't know why. But... I, I have I mine raised like... a bit, but I'm just learning how to wheelie, so. Like... I have mine raised, but like this is kind of OD. But I like it like this. So, who wants to get some shots of me? I got you. I bet. No, no, I got you. No, I got you. This is gonna be me moving the curb. I see him move back on his bike. You see how I'm like slamming the brake like that? Alright, guys, this is the end of the video. Say, so, go out. Peace mine, out. Peace, peace, mine, peace, mine. Alright. Say, peace out, man. Peace out. Mm -hmm.